Hello, one and all. Welcome back to Sonic's Favorite Forces. I forget where I was. Let's, uh, let's check the stage list real quick. Did I do all the secret stages? I did not. There's one I did not do. Laser Cannon 1. Let's just jump straight into it. What could possibly go wrong? Probably a lot of things. Knowing what happened in the last episode where it died like a million times. That was great fun. Okay, I see how this works now. I see how we're playing things. Doesn't mean I know how to deal with how we're playing things, though. Just means I know how we're playing things. Jump. Alright, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Go a little faster. Go a little- okay, don't. Maybe don't go a little faster. That's cool, too. At least the secret stages give me a lot of checkpoints, because Lord knows I'm gonna need them. Oh, wow, that's a lot of rings. Uh, sure I need that many? Yes. Yes, I'm sure. Why did I do that? Why did I just stay there? Wait, why Why am I doing these things? You know what, I'm just gonna fall this way. I'm just gonna die, and we're just gonna retry that. Cause that was an absolute mess. Okay, stay under here, no. Or you know, don't, oh my god. No, wait, I need to formulate a strategy. There we go, clean as a whistle. Finished with zero rings. Woo! Great start. Great start to a new episode. Daily mission bonus? Still didn't get higher than a B. Honestly. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. I'll take the A. I'll take it. I was going to say I didn't deserve higher than a B, but apparently Sonic Forces thinks I deserve it. Well played, Sonic Forces. Thank you. Thank you for that. Got a weird cone weapon. Maybe that'll be useful. Probably will never use it, but maybe that'll be useful. All right, stage 22, Death Egg. Oh, I can slip supersonic? Ooh, okay. Let's do it, why not? Oh, we got another stage called Death Egg, Death Egg? Wait, hold on, I've played this before. That's why I could select supersonic, because I've freaking played this before. Get me out of here. I thought this was a new stage. My bad. No wonder there were two levels called Death Egg, Death Egg, because that was a level I already played before. There was only ever one level. Okay, what's the actual next stage I gotta play? Uh, Metrop- Me Metropolin? Not Metropolin. Metropolitan Highway. Oh, so it actually worked? Alright, let's jump straight into this. Oh, wait, no, more dialogue. I guess it isn't time to settle the score quite yet. We had to wait for the pun first. We had to wait for the, the mandatory egg pun. There's a- there's two mandatory egg puns. Oh, good lord. Oh, so we're just going after his ass. Okay, then. I'm fine with that. All right. Metropolitan Highway, here we come. Ooh, okay. Music's already giving me a good good vibe. Just focus on the task ahead no matter what. I mean, I'll try. I do like the visuals, too. Okay, music and visuals giving me good vibes so far. I'm getting good vibes. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, that's bright. Look at that sky. It's honestly a really cool designed environment, if only for the fact that it's probably only going to be in the game like once or twice more. I remember we had a section with like infinite chaos, or those, that like whatever the weird infinite snake things were that kind of looked like chaos. If y'all remember those from one of the earlier episodes. It's honestly kind of a shame that in so many Sonic games it's like they make these amazing level concepts and designs and then there, there's... Okay, just ignore the fact that I died. I'm going to continue with my rant. It's a shame in Sonic games that they make these short-ass levels with these, like, amazing visuals or design concepts. And it's just like, you never see them. You only see them for, like, two minutes. And then they rarely, if ever, appear again. Okay, I need to take this a little slower, he says, as he boosts straight into the back of an enemy. Oh, we're going back to 2D Sonic now. The perspective changes. What the? Okay, was not expecting that. I don't know- I don't know how I feel about the platforms. I guess that's their way of, like, putting it in a safer environment to teach me how the platforms work. And then letting me mess with them? Like that. Like, if I had stayed on that, I would have gotten into spikes, you know? So I knew to jump at that point. It's a good- good tenet of game design right there. Come- coming from an actual game developer, aka me. Also, I just- okay, whoa, 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 hold up. Okay, so let me- let me get this straight right now. Oh, shit. Okay. I just- can we get a replay on that? I know I'm asking for a lot, and I died. 
I know I'm asking for a lot on my editing end, but can I get a replay of me both standing on the spike and, like, shooting so close to the spike but just not hitting it? Because that was kind of funny. If we could get a replay on that. Thanks, future Adamuel. Game's too easy. 106 rings. 136 rings. Two rings. Easy game. Easy game. Okay, this is the tough section right here. I gotta get up. I gotta get out. Gotta get all around. What the, what what was that, man? What was that? Come on now. Here I am, your resident awful Sonic player. <laughs> Back with some more awful Sonic gameplay. That's that's why you're here, isn't it? That's why you're here. You wouldn't expect anything else, I hope. Because you're not getting anything else. Why do I keep doing that? I know that's not going to work. Why do I keep doing it? I am the king of just repeating bad decisions over and over and expecting different results. What is that? Like, the internet's definition of insanity right there? Okay, don't boost. Don't do it. No boosting. Just, just jumping. Just jumping. That's all you really need. Who needs to boost? Who needs to hit that Y button anyway? When you could just jump and run. That's all Sonic needs. Alright, tricky parts. Here come the tricky parts. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, we're back through here. This is where I died last time, I think. Didn't see that platform there, but we're fine. And we hit a checkpoint. Awesome. Okay, brilliant. And now we're on a 3D section. Why did I- why? <sighs> Sometimes I question my own decision-making abilities. You know, I really want to boost. I really want to use that boost button that you gave me, game. But you're not giving me many opportunities to use it without risking death. I can say that much. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting they have, like, literal armies behind them. Would you follow Knuckles if he was the commander of an army? Because I know I wouldn't. I don't trust that man with my life, or hundreds of lives for that matter. Oh my god, it's Eggman! It's him! He's just sitting on the roof, having a martini. Good for him. Seven deaths, five minutes. Oh, that's not a great performance. It's a seaworthy performance right there. Brilliant. Ooh, a gamer hat. As you do. Do we get any more, uh, oh, we got a mission. More gloves, a scarf, some pretty cool sneakers. I'll take them. Oh, we got even more cosmetics. Night helmet and Apple watch. Wow. I should equip some of those, actually. I've been changing my avatar's appearance throughout the playthrough, and I should, I, I think I should continue doing that. I think it spices things up at least a little bit. Oh, stage 24, null space. I remember null space. I don't want to go to null space. Let's put off going to Null Space so I could mess with my avatar real quick. Do I want to equip any new weapons? Let's do something I haven't done yet. Let's do the drill that we got in the secret stage. Fitting room. I'm gaming. No, I want all the exclamation marks gone! I don't like exclamation marks. Uh, let's go with the cool, sick glasses. Uh, mustache. Yes. Gloves. We can keep the snakes that we have. Get rid of the exclamation points. What did I say? Footwear. I like the night boots. Where's that? Where's those sneakers that I got, though? Actually, I'm going to go with whatever those are. Let's go with the Uggs. Ugg boots. Trench coat. Sure. I saw that exclamation mark. You can't get away from me. Body suit. Do we need a body suit? Actually, oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do need a bodysuit. Absolutely, 100%. Let me just scroll through all these real quick. And I think that's it. I think our guy's looking good. He still does not have a name. And I'm never going to give him one. Why on earth would I give that absolute creature a name of its own? That would just be empowering its ugliness. Oh, is Sonic finally going to die? Listen, you kept him in a cell for like a, what, six months or something? It just didn't kill him for some reason? Yeah, I don't trust you to kill Sonic, like, at all. All right, we're finally getting introduced to Null Space. There's Tails, don't let Tails go into Null Space. Yeah, Tails, hide real quick. 
that's a really cool line to leave your dead nemesis on. You'd think you'd come up with a better one-liner than enjoy all the nothing, but he really didn't. Oh, not buddy! I love how he just doesn't get a name. He's just referred to as buddy. That was a very poor animation. You didn't! You never did! I was trying to tell you this the whole time. For once in your goddamn life, Eggman. Yeah, just tell him it's under Metropolis. Just tell him. Tell him where the backup power supply is, why don't you? Oh yeah, now we're in... Oh yeah, we can't... Yeah, we're gonna double boost. Isn't this, like, a really disappointing moment in the story? Because, like, isn't Null Space supposed to be just, like, literal emptiness that you can't get out of, but we get out of it in, like, 20 seconds? Like, we literally... We literally escaped certain death in 20 seconds. There is no threat in this game. There is no threat. There's 0% danger. Like, what was that? We, we were building up to Sonic's immediate doom, and we're just done with it? <sighs> this story is all kinds of screwed up. It's so bad, dude. It's so bad. I'm just gonna skip those enemies. Screw the enemies. I say as I kill all of the next wave. Well, I kind of had to kill them, I think, to get that, like, crane thing to show up. More enemies! Great. No, I'm not gonna deal with that. I'm just gonna go somewhere else. It's a brand new day! I promise I could sing at least a little better than that. I'm just sort of making fun of the lyrics. Oh, yeah, you have a fleet? What fleet? Where are your battleships, Amy? The two of us were carrying the key. I don't know the lyrics to this theme song. Man, this sure looks cool. Um... Really isn't playing all that well, though, if I'm being honest. It's sort of boring. It's sort of not much happening. Just pressing directions and buttons occasionally. Not much input on the stage. Quickly becoming one of my least favorites. What with the whole null space thing that really flamed out and didn't become anything. Yeah, what is with, like, this? Like, it's literally just a time waster. Is it supposed to be difficult? Because it isn't. They're just gonna give me round after round of enemies where I mash the B button and then go up to springs or cranes. And we're done. And now Eggman's gonna be all like, Oh, how did you escape null space? I don't know, Eggman. I honestly don't know how I escaped it. I don't know because it took 20 seconds and we just ran forward. There was an exit literally right in front of us. Who, who makes this game? Who at Sonic Team or Sega said, yeah, what if we put them in literal emptiness, non-existence, but then just had them run out of it? Like, if we were going to establish that they were going to run out of it, why would they treat Null Space as this huge-ass threat, only for us to defeat it 20 seconds later? I know I keep harping on this, but it's such a stupid-ass decision. Orbot! Qbot! Get out of my face! I knew it. It didn't take very long, actually. Something you wouldn't understand since you don't have any friends. Oh, Orbot's just taking hits over in the corner there. Alright, well, time to move on to the next phase of the story. Why are my glasses just not on my face? What are they attached to? Alright, we're taking even more of the world. We got 85.71% now. Eggman's a little bit of a loser. We got a secret stage, and we got a volcano stage. All right, I'm gonna play the secret stage first, because that's what I've been doing. Reverse block one. Let's get her done! Reverse block one! Ignore my terrible what whatever accent that was. It was terrible. Okay, what is the point here? Um, oh, oh I, have, I have a slide? When did I get a freaking slide? How do I do that? How did I do that? That is a very bad attack. Like, look at that. Maybe I'll unequip the drill after this, because, like, it's not good, isn't it? Okay, wait, the stomp? Forgot about the stomp. How did I do the... Oh, that's how I did the slide. It's forward and A. I didn't even know I had one of those. I mean, I could just do the 
terrible. What is that explosion? What is that like green screen ass? Oh, well, didn't know that was an option. This is gonna be a really bad level to play with this weapon, I think. <laughs> yeah, just take his ass out, lose all your rings. It doesn't matter. I honestly, I already want this level to be over just because of the weapon I have to play it with. This weapon sucks. Cube is better. I mean, I can't charge it is the thing, because, like, if I charge it, then it just blows everything up. And I can't blow everything up. Otherwise, I lose. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa! What was that? You're not going to let me snap onto that spring? Why? Okay, let me run all the way back up here. Sorry for the inconvenience. How do I do the... How do I do the special? How did I do what I did before? I have no idea how to use this weapon. I have no idea what the controls of this game even are, apparently. I'm just gonna get this level over with. We're done. Time to unequip the drill. Jesus Christ, get me back to the cube. Get me back to the, my comfort zone. <sighs> what is... Yeah, we got the ignition for drill weapon. I got a sweatshirt out of it. Great. Spiderweb bodysuit. Clear secret stage six. What on earth is that? What is that? What does it do? Oh well, we're going to the avatar screen anyway to unequip this drill, so I might as well find out. Alright, let's see here. Uh, Wispin... What are you? I'm gonna say no to this. I'm just gonna go back to the cube. Love me some cube. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of these exclamation points real quick because I don't like them. Give me a second here. I'm sorry, they just sort of annoy me. I have to get rid of them every time. But we're back. And we're going to play Stage 25 Imperial Tower. Yeah, we got less than an hour and like five levels to go. What do you mean this is our last opportunity? I thought I thought we already had like 90% of the world. This, this clearly isn't like the end-all be-all. We've driven this man into a corner. Suck it up, Tails. Suck it up. You know, it's really funny because he just can't say anything back. This is not over yet. My words exactly, SBO. It's like Exactly. This is our last chance. Give it everything you've got. This is not our last chance. I know for a fact there are like five levels after this. I've played this game before. Like, I know how this goes. What are we gonna get the Oh yeah, the war cutscene with all the duplicated models. This is the one that everyone made fun of. Rightfully so, honestly, because it's such a terrible cutscene. Like, what is with the lasers and projectiles? Why are they on screen one second, then off screen the next? Why do people have the guns if they're just not going to do anything? Also, those copy-paste soldier models, they only made like five. They all have the same one animation. And those soldiers are doing jack shit in this battle. Why even bring them along? Why bring Vector along? Why is Vector here? Charmy the Bee? Why is Charmy the Bee here also? I don't... Why Why would you bring along like 99 losers and like 5 actually good competent characters? Oh yeah, these lasers. Oh, it's Omega! Were you in the story before this? I don't remember Omega at all. Did they just bring him back because this is like the big Sonic character reunion? It's like we got Chaos, we got Zavik, we got Shadow, Rouge, Omega. There's freaking Shadow clones back there, Metal Sonic clones. This is a very strange game, now that I think about it. You know, it's always been a strange game. I should have I should have thought about that before. Yeah, it is more or less just a special effect, right? But like, it's just gonna be like, oh, it's part of our reality, so it's gonna kill us, probably, maybe. Wait, hold on. I just realized something. Eggman told us that he had a separate power source for the ruby under Megatropolis, or whatever it was called. So why didn't we just go after that? Why didn't we just say, let's go for the real power source? Wouldn't that have fixed everything? Alright, so the plan right now is to take our Phantom Ruby prototype and clash it with the real Phantom Ruby and hope that does something? That's a very shaky plan. Music's good though, as always. Knuckles, you are very quick to give up. Isn't there anything we can do? Maybe. 
Oh yeah, this is the one part of the game where they introduce a wall climbing mechanic. In the last five levels of the game, they said, let's introduce a freaking wall climbing mechanic, or wall jump or whatever you want to call it. And it literally does nothing except accelerate the stage. Like, I don't remember them really doing much creative with it. Cube! I ain't giving up shit, Knuckles. I'm going. Yeah, the cube, the cube is definitely very helpful for saving me from, like, disaster. Like, look at that. That's great. I could just rush like I was always meant to. Oh, never mind. Not if I get hit by something. My idiocy shines through in the end. As it always does. Cube! I died again. Fun fact. All right, let's take this a little slower, shall we? Just a tad slower. I mean, it is still Sonic, so we're gonna go fast. Gotta go quickly. Oh, I did not need to do that. Oh well, there's more weapon energy right there anyway. Yep, yeah it is. And I love how they still call him the Rookie. I mean, I didn't give him a name either, so I can't blame them for just calling me the Rookie. Because, like, that's what I am. <laughs> Oh, the cube save! The cube save! Alright, more wall jumping. See what I mean? It's just like you do the wall jump, and then you're just at a different part of the stage. Like, there isn't much of a point to it, and I don't understand why they're introducing such a mechanic, like, in the last few stages of the entire game. Like, we got, like, five stages to go or so, and we're introducing wall jumping now? Yeah, because it's not real. And it's... All, we also got a Phantom Ruby prototype, which you're not aware of. Oh, this level is a little longer, I feel like. I mean, I know I've already died once, but... Oh, yeah, there's that thing behind me. Well, now I gotta move fast. Boo, 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 boo. Don't have time to wait. Never mind, it's gonna stop anyway. Oh, it's back. It's up there. I could definitely make it. I know I do, because, like... I've got, like, a good five stages to go. I keep saying it because every character keeps treating it like this is the end, guys. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. But it is not the end. <laughs> oh, look at that S rank. That's pretty good. Pretty good for stage 25, Eggman Empire Fortress Imperial Tower. A very long name. Clear stage 25. Did they get anything cool? Is that? Oh, that's a bandana. I thought that was, like, bat wings for a second. We got a fly mask. Elsa gloves. Good, 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 good. Another mission. More cosmetics. Yay. Woo. My favorite. Just mashing A. Don't mind me. All right. Oh, there it is. There's the big old sun. Wait, hold on. Wouldn't we just be dead already? Because, like, the sun would just have burnt us to a crisp by this point. If it was that close, the entire Earth would be gone. Then again, it's probably not, like, a exact replica of the sun. Just enough to, like, get the point across. You know what I mean? Also, was Eggman planning on killing everyone and himself? Is Eggman somehow immune from the sun or the Phantom Ruby in general? Is there something I'm not aware of? Oh, no! It be shattered! Eggman, you oversee a lot of things. Are you giving him, like, scientist lessons now? Oh, they're gonna kick Major Butt! Let's do it, Knuckles. Let's kick Major Butt. They're literally just standing there. Chaos, Zavik, Metal Sonic, Shadow, and all of their clones are just sitting there! Doing nothing! Oh, this was a very frustrating episode of Sonic Forces. Let's see if it gets better in the next one. It won't. Stay tuned.